Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. So I'm reading for Capricorn energy, uh, well I'm reading for collective energy through the lens of Capricorn today. So <laughs> I feel like this guy's already bringing in the lens for us, he stole it from uh, Sagittarius's reading apparently. Um, I do feel like there's a bit of companion energy going on between those two readings if you want to check out the Dream Thief a little bit more. Um, but it's coming through with a slightly different energy in your reading today. Um, Right, okay, Cap, so I've got my coffee. I hope you've all got your coffee. I, I hope you do because already in your notes, intuitively, I'm getting that you're enjoying, like you're enjoying the small things in life. Like you're enjoying that perfect first cup of coffee in the morning. You're enjoying watching a beautiful sunset. You're enjoying watching a, a cat play. You know, it's like you're just like small things are making you smile and you're finding those silver linings no matter what else is going on it's like you're remembering how it, I've actually got the note learning how to live or love again um so it's it it just really feels like finding small pleasures finding yeah finding small pleasures in life it feels quite tingly your energy feels quite like fuzzy and tingly and very pleasant um so quite subtle as well um the first thing that came through was cool glass of water so if you think about how refreshing a cool glass of water is if you're really hot if you've been doing i get like gardening a lot for you i get like yard work or gardening or like farming and things like this for you all the time so it's like imagine you've been out in your garden uh, you got really into what you were doing but you got really really hot and it's like you go and you just get yourself a glass of icy water and it's just exactly what you need at exactly the right time it's cold it's refreshing and it's just like, even though it's just a glass of water, it's, there's a lot of pleasure in that, right? So again, like the pleasure in the simple things. Um, I was getting the word relief, like hearing the word relief. Um, and it was tr making me think of a song where it says sweet relief. Um, and I think it's from Summer Girl, uh, which is Hame. But then I randomized a song for you and you got Lonely Lonely Gun by Sin, um, at C-Y-N, uh, like a signet, right? Um, and it was, sorry, distracted. It was, um, Sweet Release was in that song. So Sweet Relief or Sweet Release. Um, and again, it's like that glass of ice water. It's like just what you need at just the right time. Um, so, uh, learning to live love again, um, it's the little things, I got incidentals by Alicia's Attic, it's the simple things, the incidentals, it's like you wouldn't even notice when you're really turning me on, it's the little sparks that fly and land like dynamite, so like the little things, um, yeah, okay, so, I've got a little bit more stuff for you, but I'll kind of talk you through as I go through the cards, I'm just gonna have, like, coffee time, sip me coffee caps, wait, okay, putting it down we're getting into the reading so um you start with this uh i want to call it like pachamama i don't know how to pronounce it but it reminds me of the word pachyderm i think because my mum loved elephants and pachyderm is like a word for elephants so it's coming through as like elephant mama <laughs> to me like elephant mother uh pachamama uh, and also pack your bags i don't know pack your bags so i don't know if somebody's going on vacation because you've got this gatherer energy as well it's like so it's, it's just giving me like pack your bags gather your stuff together um so maybe somebody is moving in some sort of way uh just with some of the stuff that i'm seeing around here maybe somebody is vacationing or traveling or going seeing the mom or i don't know um but it's a card about acceptance. It actually is. It's so funny that you should come out with Starry Night. Again, these are two from two completely different decks. Uh, they are by the same creator, but two completely different decks. And you've got 40 and 41 next to each other like this. And Pachi, uh, Mama kind of talks about um, accepting the natural ebb and flow of life. Accepting li like life cycles. Accepting that you are a human being having a human experience in a human body and there's an expiration date on that you know um so yeah and with it coming out with acceptance and starry night as well it's like accepting that sometimes life is blue accepting that sometimes 
bad things happen, that, you know, your dreams get stolen from you or that, um, you know, you have a plan and it doesn't work out and that's okay. It's okay if things fall down. It's okay if things leave your life. It's all about accepting what is and being at peace with that. Um, so it feels like this is something you have been cultivate cultivating within yourself this acceptance energy um i know that you often get this card with like van gogh and um starry starry night and that lana del rey song that says what if van gogh had never, never had a blue period you know um like what if he'd never had the what if he'd never been sad he would never have had the blue period which is this huge creative potential so it's it is talking about we all go through experiences, we all have good days, we all have bad days, and just being okay with that. And if you're having a bad day, being like, well, you know, it's raining, I was going to do my garden today, but at least I have this nice cup of coffee, you know, so looking for the small things. Um, and I do feel like some of you have experienced loss, possibly the loss of a mother, um, or a mother figure, and um, accepting that that is part of life right? Accepting that when it's somebody's time, it's that person's time. And it's good that you had them in your life. And, you know, remembering, even if you had a rocky relationship, remembering the days that made you smile, right? The good times. So, and being thankful and grateful for that. So really very spiritual, very beautiful, uh, this feeling that's opening up your reading but you do encounter this dream thief refusal of the call so it really does feel like it could be a companion to Sagittarius's reading um especially if you are the one refusing the call uh because Sagittarius was kind of disappointed it was almost like this other person didn't show up or I don't know um but <sighs> dream thief refusal of the call Whatever this is for you, and again, it has this feeling of um, you had a dream and it didn't work out, you you couldn't get something done, you, um, you had a plan, it fell through, um, just unachievable dreams or, you know, even if these dreams are achievable, they haven't been achieved yet which I want to say is what's triggering this falling angel energy. It's similar to uh, Sagittarius's reading. They kind of have these cards kind of near each other as well. Um, and this talks about, well, we'll kind of get to that when we come to it, but I feel like it's almost being caused by this dream thief because the dream thief is taking something from you that is connected to this very high vibrational acceptance energy, this very, um, it's like having that higher perspective. Um, and then there's something about bringing you back down to earth. So it's almost, I almost feel like this should be over here. It's like whatever this theft of a dream of yours is, it causes you to plummet back down to earth and to hit earth hard. Uh, because this, yeah, I'll talk about this now because this talks about, um, um, you have to be very careful at this time because you, you've forgotten how to fly and you, maybe spending time around lower vibrational people or in lower vibrational energies. Um, so you have to protect your energy because you have to remember how to fly again. And I do feel like that's something that you've been working on because it came through intuitively, right? With learning how to love and live again. So, but it's like that one of those things where you're doing quite well and then something happens, something hits and it's disappointing and it kind of puts you in that tailspin energy and sometimes you kind of go back into negative patterns so if you've done that that's okay don't beat yourself up about it but I want to say keep keep coming back to this energy keep remembering this energy and going back to it so uh, and that's you being in that state of acceptance and there's also something coming through about like respecting nature and um <sighs> respecting life itself and that could come in the guise of a person that you that you love very very much somebody who's very very close to you and you have big powerful feelings for them or it could come in terms of a a ladybird right walking across your path that you dodge and try not to step on or it could come in with um you know I was out feeding the ducks and the geese the other day and the pigeons were landing on my head and it's like some people see pigeons as like like rats or rodents or vermin um but to me they are it's it's like it's a person right it's like I can 
I can tell that that pigeon feels things. I know that that pigeon wants things. It has desire. It has fear. Um, and it, there's a life inside that pigeon. It's a, there's a character inside that pigeon. So it's, it, it is talking about respecting nature. And I think you get this a lot as well about, um, you know, people, when people used to, like cavemen and things, they used to sacrifice an animal. Uh, they'd take down a big animal like a buffalo and they'd use the whole pelt uh, as either like uh, blankets or as, you know, building materials. You know, the bones would be used for tools. The meat would be eaten. You know, so it's like the whole animal was respected. Every part of it used. So, um, I don't know, that's the general vibe that's coming in with that. Um, and then you seem to be encountering this selfish energy because this dream thief is coming through as this gatherer energy as well. I don't know, it's something about it being, it's something about it being overly decorated, right? It's got too much stuff. It's not only got its own feathers. It's like it's been collecting feathers from all these different animals. I've been collecting feathers as well, but I swear I'm not a dream thief. <laughs> it's like it's been um, taking things that don't belong to it or it's like anything that's pretty or shiny or... Um, it just seems to be like going in and taking things that were meant for somebody else. It feels greedy to me. Um, and the, one of the reasons why I'm saying this as well is because this middle world card has, do you see how it has like this bubble that the dream thing has taken? It has this part of the tree. Um, and the way I'm seeing it is it's, it's come in and it's taken the, the best part of the tree at the ripest point because the gatherer has all this like um, fruit and stuff. So it's like somebody who comes in and, I don't know, it's like they, when the tree's really ripe, when the fruit is like really plump and juicy and like the perfect time to pick that fruit, it's like the dream thief comes in and just like chops the top of the tree off and takes it as their own. It's like the kind of people who steal Christmas trees, right? Um, so yeah, it's like it just took, like you were really looking forward to eating that fruit. You were really looking forward to, um, you know, it's like you've planted that tree and it's you've spent a long time, like, you know, getting the right fertilizer for it and, um, you know, nurturing it, pulling the weeds up from the roots and tending to it, um, you know, trimming the, off the dead branches. Like you've really worked hard on maintaining that tree. And then it's like just as it starts to bear fruit and you think, oh, this is going to be really good. I can't wait to squeeze those lemons into lemonade or whatever it is. It's like that's when it's stolen from you. That's when this thief comes in and just takes it for their own. You know, and it could even be something small like you do have a um, a tree that bears fruit in the garden and, you know, you kids friends come over and they just pick all the fruit off the tree and eat it and you thought oh I was going to make something out of that you know I'm really looking forward to doing that so it doesn't have to necessarily be it doesn't necessarily have to be something that's like aggressive or you know big it could just be something accidental and small it could just be with the birds again talking about the nature of the birds it could be you were about to go out and get the fruit and then you realized oh the birds of all come in and been pecking at the fruit, you know, and they've ruined it. Um, so like the, the birds have ruined the crop or something like this. But it does seem to be presenting you with some sort of challenge. So this dream thief gatherer energy, it does seem to be, it's like it, it's like it takes it, right? It takes that really ripe peach or whatever it is something really juicy like grabs it and it goes and it flies off onto the fence and it like looks at you and then you're looking at it because there seems to be some sort of standoff happening here between these two energies it's like to me they're looking at each other like you being left behind being left with you know the bottom half of this tree these roots because it's earth right and you're an earth sign so it's like you being of the earth like remaining behind with whatever this was like the yeah the roots of it and then this creature that has come in and plucked that big juicy peach and then it's like sat on your fence like almost mocking you or wanting to see how you react it does have the feeling of like provoking a reaction what will happen to capricorn if i steal their peach you know what how are they going to react and it's almost like you just accept it it's almost like you just understand that that's his nature 
you know, obviously disappointed and things like that, but the dream thief is going to do what the dream thief is going to do. The gatherer is going to do what the gatherer is going to do. That's its nature to do that. So it does feel like it's more of a person though. I mean, it's coming through as an animal in the reading, but it does give to me that feeling of this could even be like a child, right? A child who's um, going through a difficult phase and in almost in retaliation of some slight that they perceive, it's like, right, I'm going to take this thing that I know Capricorn really loves and, you know, and then what are they going to do about it? Are they going to chase me? Um, and no, you're not going to chase them, right? Because you're almost rooted to this spot. You still have work to do you still have to tend the root system and get flip it and reverse it if needs be for a while you were coming through as the dream thief i'm not gonna lie if you are the dream thief it was coming through again in compa in companion to sagittarius's reading with sagittarius is your child and i get this a lot for you caps um like a capricorn parent and a sagittarius child and um the sagittarius child was trying to get out the door basically it's like they were trying to run away or they were trying to do something very impulsive and so in the Sagittarius reading it came through with this very patriarchal uh almost fatherly energy of um you're not going anywhere you're not you're not having that dream but the way it was coming through at the beginning of your reading was because you're the father, because you've got more experience, because you're rooted, you're grounded, you know what's best. So if you're male, um, or, or I mean, it could be a woman, but it was very, very patriarchal in that reading. And um, it just had this feeling of like being very firm and being like, I know that my child's going to be disappointed that they can't go and do this, but I have to make that decision as the responsible adult, right? So that could be a side message for somebody, but Again, feel, always feel free to like flip it and reverse it if needs be. So what's happening then? You have, you've done something clever, I feel, or you know you have more information. I don't know if you almost expected it to happen for some of you. So I'm just drinking my coffee a little bit as well. Um, so it's like they fell for the... They fell for it or something. They fell for this trick. They they swooped in. They took the top of the tree. They left you with the bottom half of the tree. But it's like because you're because you're connected to that earth energy, right? You're connected to this grounded, practical um, earth sign energy of understanding how things work, having the skills to. Uh, they're giving me a word, and that I'm leading up to and I'm not ready to say yeah I'm going to say it by accident because they're giving it to me um like it's just like you know how this works you know nature and what nature is going to do next the gatherer because it's coming through as impulsive childlike animalistic uh it just wanted the fruit because the fruit looked tasty right you know you you're playing the long game I want to say so where do I go first so not only do you realize that and it could be that some of you are taking a deep dive into your own ancestry as well because you have this swan spirit time for a deep dive um so it's for some of you because the roots is ancestry it's like you're taking a deep deeper dive down into you know tracing your family tree back to its roots or something like that for some of you for others of you there's this message coming through again with you having this knowing you know that that tree even though perhaps the top half of it's been removed you know you know that that tree is going to grow again and there's something to do with you see how the fire is coming in here it's like the fire is coming in it's like almost like scorched earth it's like you know that if you're patient then it's like the it's going to grow again is the way it's coming through because not only can we see these like small the small seeds of i'm just trying to show you what i'm showing you it's like can you see it's almost like she's dropping seeds so this is the tree for me um again like almost like stunted uh, it's kind of coming through with a similar message as libra's reading but it could be applied in different ways right it's very metaphorical um just noticing like the little birds around as well so it's almost like it could be something to do with like understanding that um you know when the birds come and eat the fruit they go and poop the seeds out and then more fruit grows it's that kind of energy it's something about like it's almost like working with 
it's like knowing the nature of this thing and using it to your advantage is the way it's coming through like that this thing thinks it's been really clever but it's like you're 10 steps ahead because you knew how it would act so yeah it's like this tree is like it's like it's the branches have been cut off the top but it is sprouting again right it's like the branches are coming back so if you've ever seen that happen where a tree's chopped down and it does start to like you know have little shoots from the side here so it's like it's it's start it has that potential right to grow again it's the the tree is not dead even though the top half has been removed the, the bottom half is still viable um like the root system is very very well established i want to say so because the root system is well established it can grow again even though with it being the five of earth it's like it's been halved uh it's been there's been a loss right so the the five of pentacles always talks about uh loss um like financial loss and things like this so perhaps you were going to sell the fruit right and well, you can't sell the fruit now the fruit's gone but that you've still got the root system you've still got the basis of whatever that previous thing was so it's like you've got if this isn't trees right if this isn't lit literal trees and gardening it's um you understand how the system works in some sort of way and something that you've invested a lot of time in and you were expecting to have some sort of return on it's like you didn't get the return like somebody else took like the icing off the cake right and you were just left with the cake so i'm sorry it's coming through as very metaphorical but so it's like you even though you didn't get the reward for all that hard work that you'd put in it's like you've laid the foundations now of whatever this thing is it's like you've done the groundwork of whatever this situation is so i feel like in the long term um you have this solid stable base and it's going to continue to be fruitful even though it's almost like this fell for the trap so i don't know if this is almost you getting someone to show the true colors um and when they show the true colors they're not going to be there next year, right? They're not going to be there next year to steal your crop next year because you, you, it's like you suspected what their nature was and then they showed the true colours. So now you, it's like you're in a position where you can, I don't know, put up the scarecrows or, or whatever it is. It's like that is not going to be a problem in the future or because you understand its nature, you're using it to your advantage. Um, it's like I can... I can utilize the natural behavior of this person or this character or this group right anyway so it's like this will sprout again especially with this rainmaker card it's like um it's already showing the signs of of new life right with this with these seedlings it's like it's already starting to show the signs of new life and when it rains it's going to really come to life so this is to me the, the tree again it's like here it's looking a little bit droopy right but here it's like once it's watered it's uh it will be very very it'll be revived right um again because you've got like looking at the numbers it's like because you understand how it works right 40 41 42 it will be revived so <laughs> this reading so um not only that but because you understand the nature because you knew that the birds would come in you knew that they would the birds were going to do what the birds were going to do they were going to harvest the crop they were going to um they were going to eat the fruit they were going to poop out the seeds it's like they're actually doing a job for you because this thing thinks it's been really clever because it's took the best stuff from you but it's like that thing that they've took also like where this has the ability to grow again like the it's like it's like two out of one basically so like the, the stump itself the root system still viable that's still growing and this is acting as like a seed now and it's like this is the seed starting to put down its new root is the way that i'm seeing it um and again the medicine wheel does talk about um looking back at your past understanding your past uh looking at relationships in your life and um are there any toxic relationships that you need to move away from uh what di direction do you want to go in all this stuff is kind of talked about in this card here so looking at what is affecting you and how is it affecting you and is it affecting you positively or negatively and this is people and situations but it's talking to me about this seed so it's like it thinks it's being really clever but it's actually it's almost like it's doing that job for you of propagating whatever this is it's like already the new seeds are being planted especially with this right so it's like you lost the seed but it's falling back to earth it's being planted and you still have all these viable options it's, it just feels like it did exactly what you knew it was going to do 
So, yeah. So this was coming through, this act of division and propagation and that's the word that they were giving me they were like propagate 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 i was like i'm not ready to say it yet i'm not up to that bit so it's like this so you now have two instead of one all like that's turned into multiple right um so it's coming through with uh, analogies of like how um uh, a lizard if you chop its tail off it you know some lizards not all lizards but some lizards can grow the tail back you know if same with an octopus if an octopus an octopus loses its arm it can grow its entire arm back starfish i think i believe if you chop a starfish up certain types right uh you chop that starfish's arm off not only does another arm grow but another whole entire starfish will grow it was coming through like strawberry plants um and just plants in general and how they propagate and they can propagate from the seed or they can propagate from the roots right so, so I believe so, strawberries can like spread themselves like mint and stuff like this can do that as well so um yeah it's like because you understood the nature of it right you understand that this is there's a lot of growth here and it's it's like your plan is playing out I want to say <coughs> excuse me a second it's reminding me of um the title of Aquarius's reading in the last round of readings because I think I called it Divide and Conquer. Now that felt like it was Aquarius's plan. It's like a pl Aquarius planned to divide, right, and conquer. It's like it'll be easier to rather, you know, it's like that old Julius Caesar thing of rather than taking on the whole army, if I can split the army up, it'll be easier to con conquer half and half rather than the whole thing. It has that feel to it. It's like Aquarius came in laughing away like dividing up whatever it was that you were trying to grow and then sorry Aquarius it's not gonna be all Aquariuses it's just it just feels like this funny switcheroo energy to me and then you sitting there laughing and being like well I knew you were gonna do that but what you don't realize is in dividing this thing I now I'm the one conquering it's like well you've given me the upper hand because I knew you were going to do that right so you knew it was going to you knew that the strategy of the other was to divide but now it's like well now you've divided it I have two stronger armies like these armies are going to grow and then I'm going to have two armies instead of one army it's the it's like this weird chess game that seems to be coming through uh my toast so that's the word sorry remembered um so but there's something else happening as well. So you are being reminded to see the p big picture, not get too caught up in whatever this game is, don't get too clever. Um, you, It's like you still have work to do. Um, so while you're accepting the nature of things as they are, right, the character of people, the behaviour, people are going to behave how they're going to behave, you can use that to your advantage if you are clever, but also... Um, just be careful about falling into this spiritual narcolepsy, which is forgetting to have the higher perspective. How forgetting to forgetting that you have to keep flapping those wings to to stay high vibrational because it is coming with see the big picture. So I do feel like there could still be something that you're not quite seeing clearly, and it could be that you're still sat in the the moment of loss, the moment of oh my dream was ripped from my fingers. And you're not actually seeing the full potential of why spirit allowed this to happen because it's actually to your advantage in the long run for that to have happened. Um, well, they, they, they give it, I'm sorry, like sometimes things could come through in weird ways. So they're giving me a bird in each hand. It's like, what's that saying? Like a bird, a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. But you have two birds in your hand. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the way it came through. Um, so, um, bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. But you, I don't know. Right. So, <laughs> sorry. Sometimes things come through in such weird ways. Um, so, this you end with this dragon energy. Like, what is it with you and dragons? I feel like you get dragons a lot. The dragon and the dragonfly. So, this seems to be coming through with a message of you may not know the full story. 
So yes, you're very clever. Yes, you know the nature of this thing. Yes, it's reacting the way you expected it to react. But perhaps you don't know... You don't know the whole story of it. Or they don't know the whole story of you. Because it's like... All that this energy is seeing is this... It's like they can only see the situation from their own lens. They can only actually see the... Um, the prosperity, right? Perhaps the perhaps they can only see the prosperity of your situation. Uh, perhaps they only understand. Perhaps you only show. It's like the insta lie, right? Of like you know, you show the pictures of yourself on holiday. You show your pictures of yourself um, laughing and joking and having fun and being in the sunshine. And you know, you show the good stuff. I mean, everybody tends to do this, but like there's stuff that's not being seen here, and it could be that what's not being seen is all the hard work that got you there. Um, and perhaps where you came from, right? So your background, your history, the roots of who you are, and perhaps possibly like the situation you grew up with. It's like there's more to be seen. Um, so again, flip it and reverse it. I'm not quite sure who you are sometimes in this reading, but it's like this thief came in to take this because they thought that that was everything you had or perhaps they were jealous because they thought that your entire life was like this but it's not right there's a bigger picture here that needs to be seen and the bigger picture is something to do with these deep very well established roots just with this as well like see the big picture the giraffe spirit which did come through for aquarius oh no it came through in libra's reading um as aquarius energy um So it's like without understanding the full, because there's something about this swan as well. You know how the people say that swans look very, very graceful on the surface. But if you look under the surface, you'll see how fast they're paddling, right? There's a lot of energy that goes into looking that graceful. So everything was shaking there. So can you see, because it's almost like the, the swan, it's like the, is the shape of the bubble. Uh, it's like this circular shape. So it's like somebody's only seeing the beauty or only seeing the prosperity or only seeing the grace of your life or this is somebody else's life they're not seeing quite they're not seeing the struggle of how that's achieved so in seeing the big picture it's like understanding it's it's like this way around but it should be this way around to me because the dragon's lair is is not a pleasant situation, right? It's not a pleasant environment. And it almost feels like that's the root system. It's like that's what somebody came out of. It's like that's why they're so determined. That's why they've got the struggle because they came from the dragon's lair. So the reason why I'm saying that is because the dragonfly spirit, truth transcends illusion. Um... Dragonflies are very, very high vibrational and they're very beautiful. Um, and they are a kind of a fighter, right? They, they have that dragon energy to them. And yet they come from very difficult backgrounds. So like the lotus flower, they often come from spot swamps. So it's like the, the swamp of... It's like the, the, the difficulty of the roots, the, the, the swampy environment that somebody had to um work very hard to um to have any kind of prosperity or abundance and it's like now all that can be seen is the glittering wings and the beautiful like prosperous fruit and the you know the the good life but behind that is a huge amount of determination and groundwork to get to that so there is something that isn't quite being seen clearly I don't know if that's on your side or someone else's side. It could be both. So there is this advice to see the big picture um, and to keep, to avoid the dragon's layer, right? Is like, don't go back to whatever that was. Keep, remember how to keep the vibration high just with the wings flapping. It's like, you have to keep flapping those wings to keep the vibration high to not fall into this fallen angel or spiritual narcolepsy energy. And I actually want to read that card to you. Um, because it's coming through with this warning. Sorry, <laughs> stool on something's cracking a little bit. You are being cautioned now not to fall asleep or to go unconscious. I mean, not literally, but 
I mean, maybe you have been flying above the strife and suffering of the world in angelic bliss. So again, it could be talking about you, uh, perhaps because this uh, patchy mama says it as well. It's like you could be getting a little bit too comfortable um, in a, in your situation or somebody else's. And it's like they're not really seeing the reality of the world, right? They're not seeing the people who want to take what you have, perhaps, or... Um, It's like getting getting so doing so well that you get too comfortable and perhaps forgetting that other people may be struggling. Um, yeah, so you have been flying above the strife and suffering of the world in angelic bliss. So it's not a bad thing, but it's just a reminder. However, you risk being seduced by the beauty and comfort of your situation and losing track of your aspirations, your dreams, right? Um, and in this case, it's saying your aspirations are your wings. As you fall, you pick up speed, heading towards the trees below and a possible nasty landing. Remember that all you need to do to stop being a falling angel is spread your wings and halt your descent and then find an upward draft again. Do not be seduced by the fallen angels, your supposed friends and companions who are ready to use you for their pleasure and have only their, their own interests in mind. Like I said, it's like people coming to your house and eating all your best stuff or drinking all your best like champagne or something it's like people who just take right um because they think perhaps that you perhaps you are in a position where you're able to give right perhaps you are in that six of pentacles energy of you know i'm doing quite well for myself i want to nurture people around me but maybe people are taking advantage because they feel like they can right they forget that you had to work for the things that you've got so do not be seduced by the fallen angels. I mean, you had this a while back with like, if you lie down with dogs, you get fleas, right? Do not be seduced by the fallen angels, your supposed friends and companions who are ready to use you for their pleasure and have only their own interests in mind. As you saw once more in flight, receive the gift of the falling angel as an invitation to study the forest from above the trees. See the big picture. And this is what's happening here, right? So it's a reminder. Reminder to keep that high, high vibrational energy. Do you see how like they're above the trees in both of these cards? In other words, to analyse your situation from a higher perspective without being entangled in its thorny branches. Once you understand what needs to be done, head back to your lofty heights as, and stand by for the right moment. But, and here's a big, like, be cautious. Action you take now may backfire. Stay conscious and wait until you are guided to change. You will know when the time is ripe. Okay, so keep waiting for the right time because you don't want to collect too soon on things. Um, yeah, don't make the situation backfire. It's like maybe you're not seeing this below the surface, right? Especially if, you know, it just has the feeling of perhaps things being hidden from you. All right, so cats i hope this reading was helpful to you let me just check my notes that i've not forgotten anything um eternity by robbie williams i hope you find your freedom for eternity and that feels like for those of you that are um dealing with the sagittarius perhaps and lonely gun by sin so um yeah <laughs> i hope that was helpful to you it does you do feel like you've got a bit of a plan here um which i've kind of been picking up on for a while it's like you've got some kind of you've got some kind of insider knowledge or it's like you're one step ahead of people or again it, and it comes from you being being the type of person that like knows how the game is played right it's like you've learned your lessons from the past you know that person they always behave the same way so you were prepared for them um you do feel very solid and grounded and well established in whatever it is that you're doing so I think you're going to be fine just watch out for maybe slipping back into old habits or forgetting how to forgetting to it's like don't take things or people at face value right now um look at why they're behaving the way that they're behaving is there something behind that you know that is 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 being hidden uh because this is really interesting with truth transcends illusion um, and this dragon's layer, this double dragon energy. All right, take care. Go and check out the description box for more songs. Um, leave me a like if you like all that business. And caps, you know, you know this by now. You're like one of the signs that I really root for. Haha, <laughs> lol, roots. Um, 
so yeah I, it feels like you're doing quite well and I'm it's a relief to me when it's like oh Cappy's are back in the game the the back on the back on it right uh so uh you're doing well keep going stay high vibrational bye friends <laughs>